Thy word is true. Joshua 8 35 said, There was not a word of all that Moses commanded, which Joshua read not before all the congregation of Israel, with the women and the little ones and the strangers that were conversant among them. And I want you to notice that he didn't exclude anyone. When the Word of God is read and when it's preached, I believe we need to have the little ones, the teenagers, the older ones, and the, the elders all. Amen. Need to be all together to hear the Word of God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. And if you'll hear and allow it to adhere to your system, you will be a better person when you walk out that door. Amen. 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 God will build you up. He will, and, and He'll take the scrawniest of us and He'll make us strong and vibrant. He'll, he'll cause the enthusiasm that you feel in your body to, to go with you. And when you speak out there outside the door, the world will begin to take notice Amen. that you have been with Jesus. You may not be the most intelligent person in the world, but I'll guarantee you if you'll get in this Word, the world will know you've spent time with God. Thank you. Amen. Amen. They won't like it, of course. Amen. <laughs> but they'll recognize it. 2 Chronicles 20, verse 13. We should always, and I, I, I want you to understand, it, it don't matter if there's not the two or three here. Amen. We need to always invite the Holy Spirit Thank you, Jesus. in our midst. Amen. We need to invite Jesus in and allow Him to take preeminence in the service. Amen. Amen. A lot of preachers think if they hadn't preached, then they hadn't been to church. But I got news for you, darling. I can sit and listen as well as I can preach. Probably better. Amen. You, you see me sometimes, I'll get up here and I may sing two or three songs. But what I'm doing is waiting on what God wants to do. Amen. 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 Brother Mark, you can feel it in the Spirit. If someone is here Amen. this morning, you've got need in your life. God is willing to help you with that need. But you're going to have to come and present it before Him. Amen. You're the one that has to do it. He's not going to... Well, let me, let me put it this way. If you was in a position where you couldn't come, He would come to you. Amen. But as long as you're in a position that you can walk and come to God, He's expecting you to come Amen. to Him. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All that come to Him, all that touch the hem of His garment, were healed. Yes, sir. Amen. Amen. You say, well, brother, didn't He? It just mentions one woman. No. It, it says in another place in Scripture, all that came and touched the hem of his garment Amen. was healed. St. Chronicles 20, verse 13. And all Judah stood before the Lord with their little ones. Oh, pay attention. With their little ones, their wives, and their children. Yeah. Left none out. Amen. Everybody needs the word of God. Amen. From the Little toddlers, right up to us grown folks. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 And sometimes it seems like the grown folks need more than the little ones do. <laughs> Amen. We need guidance so we can help them. Amen. I pray every day, God, give me a pathway that I can lead others into a higher plane where you are. Hallelujah. I, I want to bring people up. I want to draw people into the presence of God. And if I can do that, if I can get you to stir up into the Word of God, I'll guarantee you I can cause growth to come to your system because of that Word. Amen. Not because of anything I did. Sister mentioned it in Sunday school this morning. Said lots of times when she first came here, I would be preaching something that she hadn't, I would be preaching in a direction that she hadn't heard it before. Amen? Amen. And she said she'd go home and dig. And when a preacher stirs your heart to where he's making you do that, then he's doing what God's called him to do. Hallelujah. 
Peter said, I want to stir up your pure remembrance. I want to stir up what you used to be in your mind to where you are today. I want to stir that soul to reach out for more of God. Amen. I want, to, I want to, uh, to make you to understand that God is, and He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek after Him. Amen. He loves you. Thank you. He ain't overlooking your sin, but He loves you. Amen. 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 He came and died to take care of your sin. Why don't you cast that on Him? Thank you, man. <laughs> Peter said, cast all your burdens upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Ezra, chapter 8. None were left out. I want you to keep that in mind. None were left out. God's word will fit all. I noticed this little six-year-old that we've got in our home. She comes up with some things sometimes that just astounds me. Where in the world did you <laughs> come across? <laughs> but she's always got the explanation. Amen? Amen? And Stevie, he comes up with some things sometimes that, that I, I wonder where are they finding out all this stuff? And then he tells me, well, that word was in my study at school. It was a good word. Benefactor. <laughs> benefactor. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you know what a benefactor is? Christ is your benefactor. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Glory. Verse 21 saith, Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Hava that we might afflict ourselves before our God to seek of Him a right way for us and for our little ones and for all our substance. Everything that you and I have needs to be placed in the hands of God and let Him do the increase or let Him do the outpouring. Amen. Amen. Sometimes when we put things, that little boy that had the five barley loaves and two little fishes, that was just enough for his lunch. Mama knew what he could eat. Amen. Now she wasn't packing him a suitcase to feed everybody. She had no idea that her five little barley loaves and two fishes was going to feed 5,000 men and women and children. Amen? Amen. Brother Dean, <laughs> what are you trying to say? Put what you have in God's hand. Amen. Whatever it is, whether it be great or small, God can use it. Amen? Amen? Amen. When Nicodemus, no, it wasn't Nicodemus, it was uh, Zacchaeus. Mm -hmm. I had to remember climbing a tree to those things. <laughs> At least I didn't get Elijah up in the tree. There you go. I was in a service one night, a preacher was preaching, and boy, I mean, he was on fire, and he got Elijah up in that tree, and I tried my best to, to get his attention when he come by me because he was running the house. <laughs> and by the end of the service, he finally said, that wasn't Elijah in the tree, that was Zacchaeus. <laughs> and I told him a half a dozen times, he was one of them down the aisle. Amen? He wasn't paying any attention to me. He was preaching the gospel. Thank That's you. what we Hallelujah. need to do. Hallelujah. But let's get the right one up the tree. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> and the right one in the cave. Yeah. <laughs> Glory. But when Zacchaeus came, he was short of stature. He couldn't see over the crowd. Amen. Yeah. I've been in that position. I couldn't see what was going on because some big person was ahead of me. But Zacchaeus said, I know what I'll do. I'm going to climb that tree. So he skimmed up the tree. And when Jesus passed by where Zacchaeus was, he stopped. Amen. And he looked up in the tree and he said, Zacchaeus, you come down from there. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> For today I must abide at your house. Thank you. I come to your house today, Zacchaeus. Amen. I came by here to touch you. 
Zacchaeus. Nobody else cared about Zacchaeus, but Jesus cared about Zacchaeus. The whole crowd was there. They could have put him on their shoulders, but they didn't nobody want to help Zacchaeus. So he helped himself, and he got up in the tree, and God found where Zacchaeus was. When you put forth an effort, God's going to come where you at. Amen. you got to pass right by. Amen. But when Zacchaeus came down out of that tree, he came up to Jesus and he said, The Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor. And if I took anything from any man wrongfully, I'll restore to him fourfold. I believe Zacchaeus got saved. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Amen. I believe Zacchaeus got saved. Amen. A lot of people get saved from here up, yeah. but the pocketbook never <laughs> gets saved. <laughs> and if, you, if your pocketbook didn't get saved, you didn't get it all away. Amen. 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 Glory. I ain't after your money. I told some people one time here, I was preaching one morning, I said, the church don't need your money. God don't need your money. You need to do that so God can bless you because of those Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 We don't preach tithing and offerings to, just to be saying something. And all of that is put in the Word of God. It ain't put in there just to fill up the page. That's right. It's put in there for your benefit. Amen. Everything. There's only one scripture. I mean, there's one message to the world, to them that's lost. Yeah. That's repent. Amen. The rest of this stuff is to us. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Not just to the preachers, to you too. Amen. Glory. <laughs> Let's get that straight. Thank you. It's to whosoever will. Amen. Whosoever will. Amen. Let him call on the name of the Lord that he might be saved. I'm going to Nehemiah 12, verse 43. So good to have Sister Rosie in church with us this morning. Amen. She hadn't been able to come for a long time. It's good to see Brother Mark and Sister Gina and, and Cassie and Patrick, right? <laughs> Glory to God. It's good to have all of you here this morning. Amen. 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 I see Sister Guzman got her family up and coming in. Amen. 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 Glory. We well, all missed a good service Friday night. Amen. We have a good one. Also, verse 43. Also that day they offered great sacrifices and rejoiced. For God had made them rejoice with great joy. The wives also and the children rejoiced so that the joy of Jerusalem was heard even afar off. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Make a noise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank See, a lot of people say, well, you know, church ought to be quiet and dignified. <laughs> uh, we're, we're undignified and we sure ain't quiet. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Amen. Make a joyful noise. <laughs> I had a guy tell me one night, I said, God ain't hard of hearing. I said, he ain't scared either. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Glory. Going to Matthew 21, verse 15. There's coming a day when all God's people are going home. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. All them that have sold out all them that have forgotten about what the world can offer. And there's no, I'm not preaching against things. But what I do preach against is allowing things to get us. Amen. 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 God wants you to have the best. He wants you to have great things. But He wants you to do it as your soul prospers. Thank you, Matt. And there, there is a big difference when your soul prospers when God gives you things you're going to give out. Amen. A uh, lady preacher, Will Joyce Meyer, said one time she was in a she was in a store and 
she found this dress and it was about two sizes too small. And God spoke to her and said, buy that dress. She said, but God, I can't, I realize I'm on a diet, but I can't lose that much <laughs> to wear that dress. He said, buy that dress. So when she she looked on the tag and it had a, had a pretty healthy price on it, she said, God, are you sure? He said, yes, buy that dress. So she took the dress and put it in her basket and as she was leaving with her other stuff. And when the store rang up the, the money for the dress, it was about half what was on the card. Praise the Lord. And she said, wait a minute. That was X amount of dollars. And the, the store personnel told her, said, it's got a blue tag. It's half off today. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Got that blue light special. <laughs> Amen. You women know what I'm talking about, don't you? Amen. Sure you do. But anyway, she took that dress home and she hung it up in the closet and she said, God, maybe, maybe if I fast a little bit more and and everything, I'll, I'll be able to wear that dress. And God told her, said, I, I didn't have you buy that dress for you to wear. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. He said, you take that dress to church, to the meeting with you tonight. And there's going to be a person there that's going to need it. Thank you, Jesus. Glory. She took that dress. She hung it in the rack in the car. And she got to church and was going through or to the Coliseum. Place was crowded. And she said as she was ministering that evening, said this one young lady way back in the back, said every time I would look that direction, she would just loom out at me. And she said, God, what are you trying to show me? He said, you make sure she has that dress she goes home. And when she gave the dress to the girl, she finally found her out in the lobby and she was looking at tapes and stuff. And not everybody that goes to them meetings can afford to buy the tapes. Mm -hmm. And Joyce walked up to her and started talking to her and she broke down and started crying. She said, my sister's getting married next week and I, I don't have anything nice to wear. And so I really don't have any money. I'm going to spend my last three dollars to buy this tape. And Joyce told the girl behind the counter, said, give it the tape. She said, the tape is yours. Use the three dollars to buy you a Coke or something. And said, take this dress. Try it on. She went directly into the restroom and tried the dress on it fit perfect. Thank you, Lord. She came back out with the tag still hanging on it. She was shouting the victory. She said, this is just exactly the color Thank you, Lord. of the wedding that I'm going to be going to. God knows what he's doing. Amen. Church, he always knows Amen. exactly Lord. what you need. Thank you, Lord. He even knows the color Amen. of what you need. Amen. It makes no difference. People say, well, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't understand why God does this or does that for this one or that one. God does for them that don't have it. But he also blesses them that are willing to share it. Amen. 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 He'll bless you abundantly. <laughs> Matthew 21, 15. I'm going to close with this one, maybe. Mm -hmm. And when the chief priests and scribes saw the wonderful things that he did. And the children crying in the temple saying, Hosanna to the son of David. They were sore displeased. If you'll train the children Amen. while they're young how to worship and how to love the Lord, I'll guarantee you when they're older, they won't depart from it. We, we sometimes fail to understand just, just how our children are and what they need from God. Glory. But we we've started, we pray with these two that we've got at home 
in the evening before they go to bed. Amen. And if, if we haven't prayed with them, they don't want to go to bed. <laughs> Amen? Amen. Amen? And at bedtime, they're always hungry. <laughs> are yours like that? <laughs> hey, Granny, are yours like that? Yeah. Every time you mention bedtime, oh, i got to brush my teeth. Oh, I, I want something to eat. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty, Papa. I'm thirsty. Well, we need to get hungry and thirsty for the things of God. Thank you, man. Thank you, Every head bow.